Okay, welcome back to another episode of Emsling on Minecraft. And today, Natalie is here right next to me, and we are going to show you how to make a piston tutorial, and you can see uh, what she just said in the chat. So, um, this is the basics of the, the door, um, you need to, um, you need redstone, a uh, redstone torch, uh, any kind of pressure plate, sticky piston, and any kind of block. So, these are the crafting recipes. Obviously, you're going to have to smelt down some uh, redstone ore. If you're in survival, you're going to have to do that. Get that. Uh, I'm just, I just made this in creative, but um, if you were in survival, you would have to craft, or uh, smelt this redstone down to get that redstone, which you would, you would just have to go mining if you were in survival. So, but, yeah, so you have to smelt that to get redstone. Over here, for redstone torch, you need to put redstone right here in the middle and a stick under it and you'll get a redstone torch and here is a stone pressure plate um, if you have cobblestone put that in a furnace and get two in there and you can um, smelt it into stone and put two stone there and craft a stone pressure plate or you could knock down a tree get some wooden planks and put to do the opposite of that stone and then you get a a wooden pressure plate. So you can do either one of them, it doesn't really matter. And over here, this is um, a sticky piston. So to craft that, you need to kill a few slimes, or maybe you only need one, but I, I would recommend killing a few. Oh, wait, actually, no, you're going to need some more. You're going to have to kill a lot of slimes for because you're going to need four pistons and up to do this. Or up. You can do four and up, which you don't have to do more than four, I just did six because I felt like it. I just thought it looks really cool. So, yeah, you're going to need to craft a piston first, which is pretty easy. You're going to put the piston on the bottom and a slime ball on top of that, right in the middle, and you'll get the sticky piston. So, um, and there's nothing over here because that's all you need to know to craft. And <laughs> you can see that giant crafting sign on the top. Um, anyway. So, I made an example of uh, what the door would look like. You just walk on these two pressure plates, and the door opens. So, I'm going to start making it, and follow my lead, and you'll be able to do it. So, if you need to, if you start to get a little confused, just pause the video, and um, then uh, take a look at what you're supposed to do. Alright, we're back. So, um, what we're going to do is, I set up a little... Uh, thing in the ground here, so this is what it, the foundation is going to be like. So pause it from here to see uh, if you if you really need to see what it looks like, and I'll explain it for you. So it goes down two blocks right here. So it's two by one right here, and it goes down two blocks. Then it goes three blocks down on each side next to it. Then it goes two on these sides, and then one. So it's like stairs, but First, it starts out with two here, and then it goes down and comes back up. So first, you're going to need to put some redstone here. And just kind of run it up to the top right here. Then you're going to want to run it over here. So, that's what it looks like in there. It's kind of... So, um... Then you're going to need to put some blocks right here. And... They need to um, have torches behind them, so they can re be reversed. The power can be reversed that way. And also, you need to, um, for the next part of it, you need to put some blocks here. Any kind of block doesn't matter, and put two pressure plates on top. So don't walk. Well, you can walk on the pressure plates. This is what it does. So it. When it powers it, it turns off that torch, and then so that way the pistons fly back in. So then you're going to need to put 
uh, any kind of block, three block size, three by two, like that. You can do two by two, but I say three by two looks good. Um, then you need to um, break down in here. So break under there, and you need to. Oops. Um, you need to put some redstone here. You can see it just connected, and it's just connecting right under this door. Yes. Um, so then, right here, you need to put two pressure plates, just like the other side, and um, then you have to put some uh, set of um, sticky pistons. So you're putting them three three like this or two if you have a two by two so it would be like that oh and um I did one thing wrong um don't go with this you need to the redstone has to come out here and go in like that I did that one thing wrong so that's that don't look at that so look at it like this so the um set of pistons looks like that so then you need to put um some blocks on top of these on top of these torches but before I do that before um, you would do that I say actually put the torches behind these blocks it makes more sense because it's gonna be easier to deal with so next you need to put a block on top of each torch Let's put one like that then um, put one block behind here like that put one block here so you're doing the same thing on this side because everything on here is symmetrical so it looks like that then you put redstone on top of this and power up those pistons so there you go right there is a complete door but before I say before you even are finished I think the best idea is to cover up all this so that nobody really sees all this junk in here. Um, I, I say, yeah, best idea, cover this all up. So yeah, that's once you're done, you start covering up all this redstone. You don't have to, but I recommend it because then you don't see so much around in there. Um, you just cover up all this and it looks pretty good so um, yeah keep covering it up until you can't see anything um, but if you really don't have enough materials you don't have to do it I just recommend it like I said So now that you have so now that you have covered up the door, it is complete. And you can see it works perfectly. You just step on the pressure plate and the door opens. And you can see actually if you go in between the door it doesn't even do anything, it just pushes you right through, so that's a good thing. Um, but you would suffocate if you were in survival. But that's how it is. So um, make sure you don't um, get in there if you're in survival. And sorry for this because I did do this door differently than the other one. Um, you can see that one's much thicker than this one. That's a really thin door I made. Um, I, I recommend uh, 
I mean, if you can figure it out, I say this door is more worth it. Um, it's thinner and it's less to cover. You're not using so many materials. So there you go. That's how you make one of these doors. And um, check out Epic Car Scares Five, like was said in the chat by Natalie, and um, that should be out on Monday, which is Monday, November 18th. So, it actually might be out tomorrow, um, we're not sure, but, yeah, thanks for watching, and we'll be back on another episode, um, next week, hopefully, and, see ya!